hi people so this is my second video on uh, software testing so in this video i'm going to be talking about rtm so rtm is the requirement traceability matrix the requirement traceability matrix is prepared in the requirement analysis phase like i told in my previous video and it is finally completed in the test case development phase so from requirement analysis to the test case development phase we make changes in the rtm and uh, that's how it is so basically uh, it's a very simple concept here we trace the uh, requirements to uh, test cases so what we do is uh, to prepare the rtm first column is of the requirement id like 1 2 3 4 simple the second column is of the requirement description second column uh, is of the requirement description whatever requirements the client will be having and the third column is of the test scenario so suppose uh, the scenario is of the login page like client uh, clicks on username password and clicks on the login button so the fourth column will be of the test cases now there can be uh, many number of uh, s cases based on the test scenario like for login page we can have like the username is correct password is incorrect scenario uh, username is correct password is uh, incorrect scenario then username password both are incorrect or both are correct so these are four different test cases uh similarly uh for other scenarios other test cases will be there and then the next column would be of the defects like if there is some test cases failing then we have to link the defects to that test cases so this whole entire table is known as the rtm so just to be clear the first column the first column is the requirement id second column is the requirement description third column is the test scenario fourth column is the test cases and fifth column is the link defect so that is all about rtm in my next session i'll be talking about test plan